let's do a full face makeup that I have not tried yet. I was actually surprised. I thought I was pretty good about going through all my makeup, but I just got a few new items and there are some that I just forgot about. I think there are like three items here that I have tried before. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the House Labs Lip Oil. I've been using the e.l.f. one. Ooh, why is that so hard to get out? Oh my god. But I got the little House Labs set for Christmas. Next, y'all are going to laugh at me, is the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I've actually never tried this on my own eyebrows. I've only put it on other people's. And this is MAC Th MAC MAC Fix Plus. I don't know what happened to the bottle. I think I broke it. How do I do this? Oh, that's sticky. I've never had a laminated brow lift, but I think that's what we're going for today. Did I do it right? I like it. I think. Can you clean these up just a little bit? Next, I'm going in with the e.l.f instant brow oh instant lift brow pencil this is in the shade taupe i believe or no um it's in a shade how would a brow pencil instantly lift your brow that's my question Did I do it? Oh my gosh, those brows are stuck. Holy heck and bob, that's cool. I don't think I've ever had my brows like that. <laughs> Next, I'm going with the Glossier Pot Concealer. This actually is not new. I only have two pot concealers. The other one is from NARS, and I tend to lean towards that more. I decided to go for this one today. And I'm using the Fine Art Beauty Makeup Brushes. So I just got them and I'm excited. And I would like to remind you guys I am not a makeup artist. This is more for your entertainment, less for your learning. I have brows. Alright. The primer we're going to use is the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I remember when I was younger, I used to buy all the primers for pores. But I don't really, my pores don't really show that much. But I like the way that pore filling primers feel. I think that feels good. I don't know how much people use it feels good, so I'm really excited to get one. Ew. Now we're going to go with the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Color Corrector. Vitamin CC stick. I just put a little bit right there. I like you guys to think I smell. And I actually love that product. I guess recently because I'm in school and I've been getting facials all the time, I have it. And it's puffy. For under eye brightener, I'm going to use the Becca. And this is like the OG under eye brightener, but then I tried the NARS. And that was very impressive. And I tend to lean towards that one. Also, the Rare Beauty one's really good. And Fenty, I don't know if it's an eye brightener or a concealer, but I use it as an eye brightener and I really like it. And I just started using the Milk. 
under eye brightener and that has been game changing. All right, next we're gonna do eyeliner. Yes, I do it at a weird time. These are also from Fine Art Beauty. The only problem with these is they don't have the colors on them, so you kind of have to like open and figure out what you're working with. I'm gonna go with the peachy shade of my lower lash line. And these are so soft. I, I mean, I colored on my hand yesterday with them. And you like, there's no pressing at all, which I like because my eyes are so sensitive. But the question is, will it last? That's the bottom. And this isn't going to be pretty. I don't know if you want to see that. Someone has any tips for tight lining? Let me know. I like watched Michaela do it and I'm like, what the freak? We're gonna go with that. It's not the eyeliner, it's me. Alright, we're gonna go with this say glowy super gel. I have never tried this. I love their bronzer. I love every product I've tried from them. Ooh. Hello. Hello, Glow. That didn't take long. Maybe just a little bit more. I do typically go for a more matte look, but... This doesn't like give you a greasy feel, it just glides you a little bit. So I'm gonna jump the fence a little bit and I'm gonna put a little bit of the Sephora lip plumper on. I've been using these for years, but not this shade. This is in the shade XXL Nude or two. All right, we are going to go with the Lancome Tanti Doll foundation. I love this foundation, but this is a different shade. So pretty for me. Should I use this one? White turned off, but this brush from Fine Art Beauty smoothed it out and like in two seconds. And I still love this foundation. I think this shade might actually be more like right on my match. This has been shade 215. And then the Fenty Beauty. What do they call these? Matchstick. This is in the shade Amber. I think that's like the fun part for me right now is I don't know what brush to use. I feel like these brushes could feel kind of different. All right, this one's will work. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Where's my neck? All right, here's the big show. We have three concealers from Fine Art Beauty. I have no idea what my shade is. I go for the lightest. This is shade 12. I literally got like back to back to back. 13 and 14. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now I'm buffing out the concealer. I put a little bit of the About Face blush on and I let it. Look at that concealer. Look how quick that. Daniel! You know some things. Daniel Renee is the creator that I saw use this, and this concealer is less than $10. Like, they are super affordable. It's, um, P. Louise's brother. But it's so funny because she has such extreme packaging and his is, like, very simple. Oops, I didn't blend that out. I actually got under my chin. Y'all gonna let me walk around. Alright, I'm gonna do the eyes real quick. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is not new to me. I think I bought this as soon as it was released. I usually use, I actually love eyeshadow primer. I've always wanted to try P. Louise's, but it seems like whenever I order anything, eyeshadow i got these from um ulta they're their urban decay little smiley palettes they were on sale at ulta i think they were like seven dollars and you guys know that urban decay has fantastic eyeshadows i love them and i accidentally cut into one with my nail and the question is what am i going to do with it i think i'm going to play with this one first I don't know if you guys want me to tell you what I'm doing because I don't really know. That might be a little too dark. I have a question for any makeup artists out there. Why do you put eyeshadow primer on and then they tell you to set it? Isn't the whole point that it's wet and it's going to Get your eyeshadow? Am I, am I missing something? Okay, let's put a little bit of this one right there. Stop laughing at me. I know eyeshadow is not my thing. Hmm. Now what? We got kind of a base. I'm gonna take a little bit of this gold. Hello? Listen. This is the Urban Decay in the shade Freak. Let me just show you what this is. This the camera cannot possibly show you how beautiful that is. When in doubt, put the freak on. I love these eyeshadows because I feel like I know that they're like holographic and intimidating, but they're so easy. Like, look at that. Now I'm a genius. I'm just putting all over my lid. Who doesn't want a green eyelid? I also have this ColourPop eyeshadow stick. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. And right there. I didn't know that ColourPop even had eyeshadow sticks and I actually typically prefer eyeshadow sticks because they're just so easy. Bada boom. Actually, I feel like makeup artists are the nicest when, like, you do a crappy job on your makeup. If As long as you like it, they're like, do what you gotta do, babe. Whereas I'm like, no, I need your help. Thank you. I really like this green. What do I have to do to my face? Okay. Setting powder. Essence. This is a 16 hour, 16 
our cover and last powder foundation but i saw people use it as setting powder and i like setting powder even though this concealer really does not need any like Do you guys put your setting powder on before your powder bronzer or after? I've seen it done both ways and I can't tell which one I like better. I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's not new. But I like it. Bronzer is one of those things, as soon as I get a new one, I will be using it. And I love the fact that I got this mini a little too long ago. And I still haven't even hit the bottom. All right, this is a new blush. It's from T's Suit of Armor. It's the Don't Blush Me Blush. Like, look, I barely put any. Look how pigmented it is. And I barely tapped it. And girl math says that if it's pigmented, that means that you won't have to buy it as often, so you're saving money. So this is a money-saving blush. I actually never tried it before, but my phone didn't record my lot when I put it on initially, so that's why I have too much on now, because I need to show you. Next, I have this Danessa Myricks Vision Flesh Glow. Oh my gosh, this is intimidating. I don't actually use highlighter very often. Oh, hoo -hoo. But I guess we're going to... Be blinding people today. Okay, that blended really easily. Thank you, Danessa Myricks. You made that very Nikki friendly. I feel like I have too much blush on my face. Oh, well, I never said I was perfect. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. And yes, it looks like it's been used because one of my friends used it before I did. Which I really don't care. But I just thought it was funny. She uses it every time she comes over here. I'm like, just take it. I never use it. And she's like, no. We're going to go with this. Is that? Oh, what the fuck? That's a pretty color. What is it called? Lip cheat? What's a lip cheat? Oh, it's called Super Size Me. Never mind. Found this in a wee. Alright, and this is the Roman V. It's a lip tint in Almond Rose. I have always been a lip tint girly because the first lip tint I ever bought was YSL and that sold me on lip tints because I bought that one. I think I still, hold on, I think it's this one. This was the first lip tint I ever bought, but 
it was perfect and I loved it. I think it's technically a lipstick, but the person who sold it to me told me it was a lip tint, so forever it will be a lip tint. And I could put this on in the morning and I didn't have to worry about it all the day. I could drink, I could eat, I could live my life. So from then on, I decided I was a lip tint girl. And I never had any issues of like the drying or anything. Now I know why Daniel goes in with concealer attributes of lipstick on. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilly, Tilly Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Fall Aesthetic Spray. Surprisingly, I never use this, but I do have it. All right, this is the new Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. That's crazy. I think the white lashes kind of go with the green eyeshadow. What do you guys think? Look how long my lashes look with just that on. Do I put it on my bottom? I'm going to. Okay, I straight up look like I have extensions. I'm not even kidding. Like, that's incredible. I'm so glad I bought three of these. This is the only mascara I have that I um, have not really used, and there's a reason because I don't buy this brand. Um, yeah, it's a brand. I feel like I just took the primer off. What the f with this f thing did? It like made him stick straight up. I have curly lashes naturally. Oh my I hate this mascara. This is going in the trash. Do you see how my eyelash is straight now? Like, why the f is it straight? Saves me the day. Now we're just going to do this Cupid Lose Lip Drip. I'm trying the silver, not the gold. What the heck? Is this sparkly? And that is the full face. Let me know what you think.